happened? What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight. Tonight! Okay, um, making their debut on the channel tonight. Tonight! We have the Claypool Lennon Delirium. Yes, indeed. How about that? The Claypool Lennon Delirium making their debut on the channel. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to do all the clicks and the likes and the bibbity boobity bob, do me a favor. Before you do all that stuff, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you're still feeling like you want to do all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Eric Flaherty and Eric wanted to see me react to this song by the Claypool Lennon Delirium called Bubbles Burst. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So it's always if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a second, I recognize this. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This was posted by TCL Delirium Vivo, okay? And the video has 656,800 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. The Claypool Lennon Delirium Bubbles Burst official video. Wah, wah, wah. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Whenever we see that word official, I always get nervous. Whenever you do use an official video, it doesn't matter if it's lyric video, official audio, official live video, official music video, whatever the case may be, you see that word official, the chances, the odds of the video getting blocked are always gonna be a little bit higher. Now, I'm not saying the video is gonna get blocked for sure. I'm just saying that the odds and the chances that the video is gonna get blocked are a little bit higher. So we just gotta be careful and we're gonna hope for the best. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. <laughs> Oh, 
bass is actually the lead melodic instrument. Well, I'm, I'm not terribly surprised by that. I mean, if Les Claypool's involved, you know, you know the bass is going to be up at the front, and you know the bass is going to be prominent, but I never thought for one second that the bass was going to be the lead instrument as far as the melodic line goes. I, I didn't see that coming. Um, it's a nice switch up. It's definitely a nice switch up, especially being the bassist. I can definitely appreciate that. Um, man, they love those flat fives, don't they? Those devil tritones. Bow, bow, bow. Yeah, they love those. Ooh, they're everywhere. Um, very Black Sabbath-ish. Gotta like that. The actual song, Black Sabbath. Um, dig that. Definitely dig that. The vocals on this are interesting. Um, I don't know if I'm a fan of the vocals yet or not. I'm gonna have to keep listening. I, I'm kind of on the fence on the vocals. There are things about them I like, and there are things about them that I'm not really feeling all that much. So, it it's kind of a toss-up. Um, maybe they'll grow on me. I don't know. Or then again, maybe it'll get worse for me. I, I have no idea. Um, let's keep going. subdivisions hmm this is a weird one definitely a weird one I I'm 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 torn I'm really torn on this ah uh, I have no idea how this is gonna go let me let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review and we'll we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was the the Claypool Lennon Delirium with Bubbles Burst. Uh, this was a request from Eric Flaherty. Okay, I thought about this and uh, it was a lot to take in. <laughs> it really was. Um, a lot happening in there. Um, for the most part, well, let, let, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let, let me give the score first. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give that a 7.3. Yep, 7.3. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? 
Uh, it is a really good song. It, it is a really good song. I, I may not necessarily be the biggest fan of it, but it, there's a lot of good things happening in there. Um, let's start with the song structure. Everything that everything that happened within the song, as far as direction, made sense. Transitioning from verses to chorus, back to verse, back to chorus, put in a guitar solo. Yeah, it, it, it all makes sense. There's nothing that happened in there that made me think for one second that that didn't fit or that didn't belong there. No, it, everything made sense. Every single thing made sense. That right there is a big plus, okay? there. I've heard some stuff from Les Claypool that I've really kind of questioned. I, and I've listened to it and I've went, none of this makes sense at all. Nothing in this, if you can even call this a song, nothing in this piece of work makes sense at all. It, it doesn't flow, it doesn't feel right, it, it doesn't match up, it doesn't add up. So, by comparison, <laughs> this is just fine. <laughs> Uh, no, this, this was actually, this was a really good song. It, it felt good. It felt, it felt very natural. Um, I was digging on those devil tritones, man. I was digging on those flat fives. Uh, and a lot of people in the past have said, you know, you're just not a fan of dissonance. It's not that I'm not a fan of dissonance. I, I'm not a fan of, I'm not a fan of dissonance when the dissonance doesn't resolve. But every single time that dissonance happened within this song, it would resolve. Either it would resolve itself or it would be resolved through a transitional chord. So I have no problem with that. I have no issue with that whatever, whatsoever. But if all it is is just dissonance, 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 then yeah, I'm not a fan of that. But that didn't happen here. Um, it was really interesting hearing the bass as the lead melodic instrument. Uh, I'm not shocked because it's less Claypool. You know, I, I'm not, I'm not like, thrown off by it and going, oh my god, I never saw that coming. I mean, I, I didn't see it happening, honestly. I, I was, I didn't expect it. But when I heard it, it was like, oh, okay, yeah, well, I mean, it's less Claypool. That makes perfect sense. So, there's that. Uh, the guitar playing in here was really solid. I wouldn't say there was anything all that impressive. E even the guitar solo really wasn't all that impressive. Uh, but it was it was well done. I, I will definitely say it was well done. It was solid. Everything everything sounded good. I like the guitar tone that he was using. It wasn't a heavy distortion patch. It was just a nice, bright kind of twangy patch to it. Felt really good. It fit the mood and tone in, in the context of the song. So I got no issue with that whatsoever. The bass playing in this, along with the bass tone, it 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 felt good, man. It did. That was one of the highlights for me. I'm a bass player. What do you expect? You know, come on. So it, yeah, it's it's less Claypool. I, I've I've given the man a lot of credit for being a being a, a great bassist. I do, and very creative, beyond creative. I mean, the guy thinks of things that I would never think of in a million years. Um, here's here's my one. The main thing I'm struggling with was were the vocals. I don't know if I'm a fan of the vocals on this or not. I still don't know. I'm struggling. There are things I did like. Um, I like the staggered entrances within the harmonies, and I like the harmonies themselves. Uh, but I like how like the, the, the main melodic line within the vocal would, would, would kick in, and then through the phrase, a harmony would be added. It wasn't right there from the get-go, and it wasn't always there either. So I like the staggered entrances of the of the harmonies, and I like the harmony usage in general. The tone, the vocal tone, this was my biggest put off. Um, Les Claypool has one of those signature voices. You can pick his voice out of a crowd of a thousand people. You really can, and you'll you'll pick it out right away. It, it, it's his signature vocal style. Now. Did it fit here? Here's the thing. It, it did fit. Like it, what he was doing vocally, and um, it's Lennon. It's one of the Lennon kids, but I don't know which one it is. He's got two sons, but I don't know which son it is. I don't know if it's Julian or if it's uh, Sean. I'm not sure which one it is. But uh, their vocal tone and their vocal style, it did fit. 
but I, just because it fit doesn't necessarily mean I'm a fan of it. I mean, it, it works for the song without question, but for my personal taste, I'm just, I don't know if I'm a fan of their, their vocals together. Um, only way to, the only way to find out honestly is to listen to more of these guys and hear what else they had to offer. You know, maybe, maybe there were, I, I know there were effects on the vocals. I know there were, and maybe that is what's throwing me off. Maybe it's the effects that are on the vocals that are leaving a bad taste in my mouth, but something about the vocals, man, it just didn't sit well with me. Um, not, but again, not that they did a bad job. They, they didn't do a bad job. The, the vocals that they did do did fit the song. I'm just, I don't think personally I was a fan, but I don't, and I don't know why. I, I, I'm thinking it's the tone, but it was the tone as a result of their just their natural voices, or is it because of the effects? I don't know. Only way to find out is to listen to more of these guys. Now listen, it's a really good song. Okay, it is. It, I, have I heard better songs? Yes. <laughs> I've heard much better songs. I have also heard far worse songs. <laughs> far <laughs> worse. Can we say daughters? <laughs> Uh, can we say, what was that, Captain Beefheart? Yeah. <laughs> so, listen, it, it's not a bad song at all. As a matter of fact, I, I honestly believe this is a really good song. And that is why it is getting the really good score of 7.3. Now, there may be some new people to the channel that don't know that a 7.3 is actually a really good score. That's okay. I can help you. Take a look down below in the video description. Go ahead, scroll down a little bit. You're going to see in the video description, my scoring system chart, and you'll clearly see 7.0 to 7.9 is the grading range and the grading scale for what? What does it say? It says really good, okay? So this is getting a really good score because I do feel it is a really good song. So 7.3, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me. But if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.